Does metformin increase or decrease longevity? Million dollar answer today. While recent work examining the non-diabetes outcomes of metformin therapy has suggested a beneficial effect on longevity and healthy lifespan, we must critically evaluate the validity of these claims. Although clinical trials and observational studies have supported this, this hypothesis, we must consider the limitations in the length of the time over which they can study patients. Now, here's the thing. They will talk about all these medications, pharmaceuticals being studied, da 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 da, da. How long do they study them? A year? Two? Okay, great. Well, what about 10 years? What about 20 years? What about 50 years? No studies, right? So can you come up with a conclusion with a one or two year study? And just because FDA signs off on it and suddenly it becomes like God given, you know, miracle. No, a lot of times FDA will come back and say, oh, oops, oops, we made a mistake. Let's take this off the market. Well, on the other hand, they bash the traditional medicine saying that, oh, nobody studied them. Oh, duh. They've been using this for hundreds of years and they see the benefit. So who are you to tell them, oh, no, you can't use traditional medicine because they are going to hurt you. How do you know? You just said that it was not studied. So, so guys, when you hear things like that, from a marketing standpoint, you have to be very careful about what the studies mean and what they're talking about. So anyway, we cannot simply accept these findings without careful scrutiny and replication. Therefore, we will go over the recently published extensive research with it is surprising new findings. So a lot of times the new study will bash the old study, then the old study that we have been following suddenly out the window. So science constantly is changing, but your experiences, your parents' experiences, or the people who lived centuries ago bringing you their experiences are still valid. Well, you can find the link to the original article in the description, which I'm going to put in the description, okay? When conducting medical research, working with the most accurate and up-to-date information is essential. So, they focused on patients with type 2 diabetes who were treated with two different medications, metformin and sulfonylurea. As you know, I kind of hate sulfonylureas in, in general by also including non-diabetic controls matched on key factors like age, sex, and health history. The researchers ensured, or tried to ensure, that their findings were as reliable as possible. They then conducted survival analysis to understand better how long patients survived after their first treatment, examining multiple possible study periods. This detailed approach is a prime example of how critical it is to be thorough when it comes to medical research. In a recent study that spanned over 20 years, researchers found that patients with type 2 diabetes treated with metformin or sulfonylurea had a shorter survival time than match controls. However, when the two treatments were compared, patients who received metformin had better survival rates than those who received sulfonylurea, even after controlling for age. The study also showed that metformin provided a benefit over matched controls within the first three years of treatment. But this benefit reversed after five years. Wow! These findings provide important insights into the effectiveness of medications and the durations of the study. So if somebody comes and tells you that we studied this thing, you know, for two years, three years, it's very effective, safe. And then somebody else studies it for five years and suddenly everything's upside down. Ta da Well, if D doesn't require any medications to be studied five years or longer or 10 years or longer. So we have to be extremely careful about these things, okay? So medications commonly used to treat type 2 diabetes. This is very important. 
for an ongoing green search in this area. Just because something has got FDA approval doesn't mean that it's a free ticket for that medication. Looks like metformin therapy is like a relationship the honeymoon phase only lasts for so long. The first three years were great in this case, showing a benefit over match controls. But like all good things, um, well, it had to come to an end. And because after five years of treatment, it all went downhill. It is true what they say, too much of a good thing can be bad. Maybe next time it will be harder to believe in the love at first sight, or in this case, love at first pill. This is where sugar MD super berberine comes in, composed of highly efficacious form of berberine and 20 times concentrated Ceylon cinnamon, which is a superior medicinal cousin of regular cinnamon, the Ceylon cinnamon. And as you know, dehydroberberine is a superior form of berberine. Now, having said that, what did I just say? These medicinal herbs have been around for centuries and people ha are still using it for a reason. Sugar MD superberberine may be an alternative to regulate the blood sugar levels and hit that longevity button for way longer with these natural alternatives without the side effects that the long-term metformin use may actually cause. Now, adding superberberine to your glucose health regimen may be wise to ensure long-term control. Now, a lot of people will come and say, oh well, my blood sugar only dropped 20 points and 15 points. It's not just about the blood sugar. That's I cannot explain to my diabetic patients. Your life is not just about blood sugar. What you're eating, everything you're putting into your body is going to affect your lifespan. And we are here to make you live longer. So if you're gonna live until 90, 95 with no problems, who cares if your blood sugar is high? You know, if we didn't know, or if there was a fact that the high blood sugar was good for you, then we will keep the blood sugars high. So the bottom line is blood sugar is not everything. Yes, you take something to lower your blood sugar, but people expect too much from everything. They expect, you know, to take aspirin, one aspirin, and they expect that their cancer pain goes away. It just doesn't work that way. But anything you do will help you in a way, and that's how you should look at things. But back to research. After conducting the research on the effects of metformin therapy on longevity, they have come to conclusion that while there may be an initial benefit, it is not enough to outweigh the negative impact of diabetes on longevity. However, it is important to note that their findings do not necessarily imply that metformin therapy should be halted altogether. So don't, I'm not saying that, oh, oh, stop the metformin and, you know, do something else. I'm not saying that necessarily. I'm just pulling your attention to study findings. Further and more extensive studies are necessary to better understand the relationship between metformin, Metformin therapy and longevity. Now, having said that, a lot of people are taking metformin and metformin and superberberine together, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's a lot of studies out there suggesting that metformin and berberine work together. We are also bringing in berberine only supplement for those people who don't want to take it with Ceylon cinnamon combination. So we are bringing Ceylon cinnamon and berberine separately for those who are interested in that. So check out our website today at sugarmds.com. That brings us to the end of the video, and I hope you learned something today. And please write in the comment section what you have learned, and, and try to share this video with someone else, because you know it's going to help someone else, right? So that's a good form of charity, sharing the knowledge, and it's not going to cost you anything. So anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Don't go anywhere. We have hundreds of more videos. Keep checking them out. Hey guys, I hope you are enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. If you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.